Well, good morning, people. It is Sunday, December 9th, and it is snowing. It sucks. It pretty much puts the end to my, you know, driving of anything old for this time of year. I did see a couple salt trucks go up and down the road already, so that means they're coating the road with that nasty metal eating salt and calcium chloride. So. That's it for me driving. I gotta drive the, the new truck now. <clears throat> the old five. My winter beater as I refer to it. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's Wisconsin and it's gonna snow and I'm sure it's gonna make up for last year for not snowing much. But this is our first measurable snowfall. Oh well, that's kinda fun. I like snow until about, you know, January 3rd. Then I'm sick of it. And they can all go away. So I guess it's time to hibernate in my nice warm shop. So, see you guys later. Back at the old Buick project again. Haven't really done a lot as of late. Kind of a lot going on lately around here. Work stuff and, you know, family stuff and personal stuff and all that stuff. But, I think today is back at it. We got snow coming down right now. I'm sure you'll see that in the video, but... So ain't much going on outside. It's all just wet and icky and cold. I did manage to get some parts in from Speedway. I got my shocks. There's only one sitting here right now, but the other one's underneath the car. And I got the fuel cell. Uh, still figuring out how I'm going to do this yet. I think I got it figured out. Kind of spent the week just staring at it. So, we'll get that mocked up. Probably cut the floor out of the car. If I leave it on the bottom, like, you know, the original gas tank would have been mounted. There wouldn't be a lot of clearance every time Jamie would pull out of a fast food place or a supermarket around here. They'd probably rip the gas tank off. So I'm going to have to raise it up a little bit. So I figure we'll cut the floor out. <clears throat> and uh, probably raise it up 3, 4, 5 inches, give or take. And it's dark in there. So that's probably the plan for today. And maybe get my shock mounts made. At least, you know, I'll figure it out where I'm going to put them. Then I'll probably, you know, once I get the body off, we'll make it all right. And that is it. I know Scott's waiting for a, a cab chat. <laughs> like I said, I don't like turning the camera on myself. But you never know. Maybe we'll do something. But right now it's Buick time. So, here we go. Here's a little quick update here too. I know Lakeside Rancher put on a video of some toys he had and had for a long time. Uh, I know all the toys I had when I was a kid, I pretty much either took apart or crushed with rocks or blew up with, you know, M80s, buried them in the dirt. So there ain't much left of my childhood toys. I've got a couple things left, but most of my matchbox cars and everything got crushed. So I started recollecting them, oh, I don't know, some years ago. And I had no place to put them. And just by accident, I was screwing around. I had one of these, uh, 73 Chevy pickup grills laying in the back of my El Camino and I had a bunch of matchbox cars that just kind of threw in the back and I was doing some cleaning and one of the cars fell into the slots and it just hit me right then and there. It's like, oh, I just found my shelf. So, this is just a 73 Chevy pickup. 73, 74 I want to say. And the matchbox cars fit in there just perfect. I had like four of these grills and all my buddies, you know, did the same thing, so they copied me. I know my one buddy, Bob, he's got like, you know, eight of these set up, I think, in his cabin. So every time we go to a car show, we're buying up these grills. And I'm sure people are like, all of a sudden, these things are getting me valuable, at least in my neck of the woods. And I'm sure once this video goes up, it will be the same way. So, I just created a market, probably. But it works out perfect. I mean, they just fit in there just right. And I collect tractors too, but they don't fit in there. They're a little bit too tall. But yeah, some of the toys I collect. 
I can't leave them in the packages either. I gotta take them out and look at them and play with them, and you know, then I stick them back up here and stare at them. So that's it. I heard you guys might want to see that.